Restaurants across the country are having to change how they do business during the COVID-19 pandemic. Fox 44's Cameron Stewart talked to one local catering company that's actually changing their MO to survive. Yeah, Adam, Blanix Catering does not do short order cooking. Well, usually. They're taking over another local eatery temporarily to make sure they can keep up serving the community. We completely lost all of our catering. It went from being completely booked to absolutely nothing. Blanick Custom Catering is based in Robinson, but until the coronavirus pandemic lets up, they'll be working out of this Shipley's in Woodway. Instead of shipping out huge orders of food, they need their customers to come to them. We had to decide, are we going to close our doors or are we going to stay open? And obviously we want to stay working, we want to keep our employees employed, and we decided let's do food, but on a smaller scale. For the Blanicks, serving food isn't just their business, it's their family legacy. This is my parents and me, and then we have a bunch of employees, and they all rely on us, and we want to be able to provide their job for them still. We could have closed, but we didn't want to. We don't want to do that. As for the temporary storefront, they kept that in the family too. Jamie Blanick's brother owns the Shipleys. With a sudden need for more intense marketing, she has taken to social media to get the word out. I never usually would post on social media, but now I have to, and I'm flooding all these groups. I'm posting on my personal page. I'm having all my family post. So every day I'm doing a couple of posts or videos. The family points to the customers as the ones who are going the extra mile, not just the staff. I, I never expected we would be in this position. We normally do weddings, we do stuff at Baylor, but none of that can happen right now. So people are really stepping up where they can, and it's been so amazing. Blanix is stepping it up themselves tomorrow with a Good Fri Friday fish fry, where they expect over 100 people to enjoy the food in their cars. You can find out more about that on our website at fox44news.com. Live in the studio, I'm Cameron Stewart, Fox 44 News.